Hey guys, it's Camille from SixSistersStuff.com and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you our 30 minute dinner roll recipe. So I'm gonna start with a, about a cup of water, hot water. I actually have a cup and two tablespoons. And then I've got two tablespoons of yeast. You heard that right, two tablespoons, which is a lot, but for this recipe it works. And then I'm also gonna add a quarter cup of sugar. These really are a little bit more of a sweet roll. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna add is about a third cup of vegetable oil. And we're just gonna mix this all together until it kinda gets nice and bubbly. Okay, so now you're gonna let this sit for about five minutes and you'll notice it starts to get frothy and really bubbly. That's when you know it's ready. Okay, so it's been five minutes. And if you look in there, it is all nice and bubbly. Okay, so the next few things that we're gonna add is just a little bit of salt. I think I've got about half a teaspoon. And then add one egg, which isn't super typical of roll recipes, but for this one, we need it to help it kind of rise and get fluffy. Okay, so from here, we're gonna add flour. So I'm gonna start with two cups. Kind of get the air out. So you want these to be nice and level cups. So kind of mix this dough, and you're just gonna watch it and see how it comes together. Still looking really doughy, so I'm gonna go ahead and just add, I'm gonna go by half cups now. And I'm actually gonna do one more. Okay, so if you look at this dough, this dough is perfect. So this dough is super sticky, but I'm gonna show you the trick that I use for rolling these rolls into balls. So all that I do is I actually just spray my hands with some cooking spray, kind of rub it together, and then you can pull your dough out. Now we'll make it so it doesn't stick to your hands and make a big mess. So you can see, here's my dough. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate it into 12 equal portions. Now you're kind of gonna eyeball it. They're not all gonna be exactly perfect. Okay, so cut it in half, cut it into fourths, and then I'm gonna cut each of these into three. This only makes 12 rolls, so it's perfect for like a small batch, or um, if you've got a smaller family, you could definitely freeze half of them and save them for another day. So there's my 12 portions. Obviously, you can kind of take from some and add to others if they're a little bit smaller. Make sure that you spray your pan before you get started. Basically, all that I do is kind of just tuck everything behind until I get a nice round shape. So now you need to put these in a nice warm spot and let them rise for about 10 minutes. Um, they don't have to double in size because they're still gonna be growing in the oven, but let them rest for about 10 minutes. Then we're gonna put them in the oven at 400 degrees and cook them from anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes. You just kinda of want the tops to be a little bit golden brown. And they're good to go. Okay, so 30 minutes later and the rolls are done. When I serve these rolls to my family, I love to serve them with butter, some honey, maybe some homemade jam. To get this recipe, be sure to check out SixSistersStuff.com.